Hi, I'm Greg. Welcome to Affect Studio. And welcome to this unveiling of the box of mystery, which I assume won't be particularly mysterious considering it would have been on the video title. It's quite hard doing that back to front for a video. And what do we have? Some brown paper. Lovely. Toss that on the studio couch, an invoice. Now, this wasn't advertised, but I'm quite excited about this. Warm audio version of the old AKG D19, which is just a dynamic mic that was fairly inexpensive and most famous for being used on the Beatles, but obviously Abbey Road in general. And I used it as a general purpose dynamic. You saw them behind the consoles for talkback, but also on things like pianos and over Ringo's drums. So I'm quite keen to try that out. But here's the main event. The Tone X pedal. Okay, guitarist friendly box, more or less. Oh. Hang on, what's going on? There we go. What do we have? Okay, that'll be a universal power adapter. USB cable. Okay, there's the adapters to go on the... That's the Australian one I need uh, for different countries. So you can take it anywhere you're touring. Um, some rubber feet. Um, okay, some warranty stuff or manuals or registration. And there is the box. My first thought is this is nice and solid. Actually, actually, even more solid than I was expecting. That would certainly feels like it should last on someone's pedal board for many, many years. Um, we got some rotary encoders, so they've got little notches you can feel. And the knobs there, high quality. So yeah, this feels like a very solid piece of gear. Um, I don't think I'd be concerned about that breaking in any hurry. Not that I've even plugged it in yet, of course. It might not sit on there so well. So I'm very keen to try this out, and I'll be doing some captures on this, as well as on the Quad Cortex and Kemper at the same time, so I can do a really good in-depth comparison of how they actually compare, because that's, of course, the selling point of these, as with the Quad Cortex and the Kemper is how well they capture your amps or someone else's amps for you. Now this is actually only a player. Um, the, all the work is done within the computer itself, unlike with the Quad Cortex and the Kemper where the hardware is needed to actually do the capturing. Uh, with this one, this is actually just to play it back and you can actually do it without needing the pedal. You can just buy the software, which I noticed at the moment is on special for I think 99 euro or something like that. But I'll be back soon with a demonstration and a comparison. But if you have any questions, anything that you'd like to know about these, you've been dying to ask, then get in quick and let me know as I'll um, you know, attempt to address that stuff when I do the demonstration. So thanks for watching. I'm not sure if this has changed your life yet, but it might do depending on how good this is. I did notice that there are different levels of capture that this has. So the lowest one is like five minutes or something like that, which is pretty similar to the Quad Cortex and the Kemper. But then the highest one is, I think it said one to two hours, which is amazing. First of all, there's a window of how long it takes to actually process what the amp's doing. Um, the other ones are always fixed with their time. But um, yeah, that's a significant amount of analyzing of the amp. So I'm very, very curious to know how much difference, if any, that makes to the overall sound. And if it makes as much difference as it should make, the difference between, say, five minutes and two hours, um, this could potentially be um, a real you know amazing sounding unit so i'm um, hopefully see you sometime next week